Oh, si Mama. Mm. Is that this? One next one up in the top, you know? Yeah. One next one up. Is there another one? Yeah, my one next one up in the top. Mm. No, look at that. I don't know what kind of mutation that is. <laughs> but this is what happens when you plant. You just plant. You know, it's sweet, man. Sweet. Hey, boy, man, your papa, your breast is, you know? This is the fruit. And we just eat the fruit like this because you just. First black beauty eggplant appears. <laughs> Can you see that? I am so thrilled to see that. And there, there are blossoms on there, but at least I know this one will hold because quite a few fell off before. But this one, the fruit is coming down. That's awesome. Welcome to the channel, guys. How are you doing? I just finished watering. And I spotted a few fruits that I need to go get. Guys, right here is looking so awesome. Everything is looking good. And I'm not sure if it's because they're high up why they're not getting any attacks from the pest. And I'm so grateful. Apart from that, they're probably just healthy. And the pests usually shy away from the healthier plants and head towards the sick ones welcome guys thank you for the support thank you for those who are joining me just now or recently welcome guys we are happy to have you here no i need to go get some mangoes before the birds so let's go down that side guys the pear is so beautiful Finally, some lovely bell peppers, guys. I'm hoping this is the purple one because look at that. All the others are just green. And this one is a little purple on it. I think this one has on the most peppers. It's beautiful. See my lovely heads forming in there. I am really not sure what to think about these corns. I'm not sure. I think I'm in love with this little section of the garden. Look at that black cocoa right there. And my corn, these, these look like dwarfs to me. Because I'm not sure why they're flagging so early. And I'm not seeing any ears coming up. Guys, what's happening here? Hmm. Can you tell me what is happening? Some yard long beans over here that I need to harvest. This produces like crazy. I harvest from it yesterday. And I'm sure I'll be able to harvest tomorrow again from this plant. They're so long, but yet they grow so fast. It's amazing. The purple one isn't doing much. At all. Look at this one hiding. Awesome. I wished everything in the garden perform like those yard long beans trust me they never fail they're getting old now but i planted two down at the bottom i'm going to replant some up here somewhere not sure where yet but they they're just amazing amazing Oh man, them so awesome. Them can't see me. Hello. Of course. No. Of course, them can't see you. Good morning. <laughs> morning. Them so awesome to look nice. Yeah. I, I think we can probably them. leave one all 
Both three won't survive. Five, it look like both one dozen. Guys, do you want to see what we're looking at? Let me show you. Let me take you down close so you can see what is happening at this orange road. Morning, friends. Good morning. Guys, I have him in the mornings, most mornings. And I'm so thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, this is our orange tree. And so we use kitchen scrap. Whatever we can find organic, we throw at the root so that it can be nourished. It not going with that thing yet, but we still feed it. So what happened was we, we made juice, sour sap juice, and just throw the puff and seed in here. And all of the seeds grow. We already took out some and plant all over the place. And we still have about six plants in here. And this papaya. So we ate the papaya, same story, throw the, the, the seed and the skin here and the papaya grow. So, where my line of thought is right now is that the papaya is somewhat a short-term fruit. So I'm going to leave it and if it produce, it produces. If it's male, we cut it down. And But the, the orange isn't doing much. So if one of the papayas, if one of the sure. sour sap stays and is doing well, we might just remove the orange and get a new plant and allow the sour sap to flourish right here. Let me know what you think. Tell me if that makes sense. It makes sense to you, baby? Make one whole heap of sense. Yeah. So that's where my thought is right that now. That makes a lot of sense, man. Because the orange is not doing much. It produced one orange a long time ago. It was a sweet orange, but it is not doing well. So chances are it might not do well here. And what if the sour sap will come and do well? And we love sour sap more than we love orange. <laughs> so, that are yeah. the, that are the long and short. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we might just let it stay there. One of them. And then we might pot up the others. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what we'll do with those yet. I want you to help me count the amount of banana peppers on this. I'm saying amount because number refers to what you can count. I honestly cannot count these and get an accurate amount. <laughs> Look at that. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Guys, I'm working on down this side. I am working on it and it is looking better already. I'm heading to the mango tree, but let me just show you a little of what I'm doing right here. So you can have an idea as to how the garden will look in a minute. So as you guys know, I added these three with you a couple days ago, maybe a week or so ago with my carrot and Irish potatoes on both sides. No, my cucumbers were there, but the crates were all over the place. So, my darling pie right here helped me to make that farm ply thing, and we painted it with oil so the insect and the water won't damage it too quickly. And then I took up the crates off the ground and placed. This is East Indian guys. We want to grow. We bought a tree, but about four years time before. Four years. I think Why you not... tell me with the mango? Me drop you into your eye, you know. No, I'm not here. So yes, guys. A one bite I get. The cucumbers were here. I took them out, replaced the soil, and replanted. And I think it looks better. What do you think, guys? You know, look better, baby. Mm-hmm. Look better. Baby, me can eat better. this and then eat stringy, you know. That's huh? an abomination. Ooh, baby. You know, Mr. Peter, help. Miss Elaine, hush, mama. <laughs> hush, 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 mama. Mm. Sweet. Intermission. Mm -mm. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Mm -mm. Sweet, though. That's sweet, but I have mango here too. 
I'm not jealous. Come, guys, let's pick these. Guys, yeah. there's a reason why I don't do fingernail. I can't pick the mango ear out of my teeth. Oh. <laughs> can, can you see? Can you see my mango? Look at this. This is got sweet too. Mm -hmm. mm. Guys, but I'm going to allow this to drain a little bit though. Yeah. Because with this, when the stain drains from it, mm -hmm. mm, mm. scratch throughout the way this, this sweet. I have tomato here. Then keep on a fall off, you know? Hold on there. I'm going to pick them up. Guys, I use them to cook fish. So the, the, the tomato that I said I'm going to use to make salsa. Um, I use them to cook up my fish. It's delicious. It's sweet, bad man. Guys, I keep on falling off. But the thing is, they're good. Yeah, baby, hmm? it's nice, you know? Mm -hmm. It tastes like um, plum to me. It's kind of tangy like. Oh, they're not ready. All right. What are you doing over there? Being mischievous. <laughs> I have more mangoes in the tree. I go climb it. Mangoes up here, so. Mm -hmm. And we have guava over there, I think. I think you tell me. Yeah. One big night. The guava big and nice, you know? I go over there. Oh, God, man. Yeah, but let me pick the mango first. And the arm and them just such a part of the chain now, yes. We need to pick them up and dry them. The arm and them. Uh -huh. And then big, you know? Then big and nice. I go over there. Then just, drop, then just a drop off of the tree. I go. No, baby, look on the pumpkin. You see it? Uh -huh. No, man. No, the pumpkin here, I'm going with this too. I'm going to have to show the guys this pumpkin. Yeah. Are you rescued? Take you know? time. I'm going to jump out of the tree. Me not, you know, so I'm going to jump out of the tree. You don't know that. Mango sweet like sugar. Baby, ah, we yeah. always say sweet like sugar. It's sweeter than sugar. One next one up in the top, you know? Yeah. One next one up. You see another one? Yeah, man, one next one up. Open it up with this. Mmm. Nice. Oh, you just have to pick it and done. Yeah. Yeah. You look like you have worm. You look like it's a worm to you? Second one. No, no, not if I wear my eyes, just a stain. Oh, I see one right here, so I wonder if I eat that up. Oh, over your head? No, right here. Maybe, okay. maybe more than. Oh! You see the one over your head, Matt? Yeah. Mm. Mango juice loading. Listen, listen, no more. Baby, this is what the fifth crop, don't it? And there is one more after this. Mm -hmm. Like this mango tree, I produce from March till now. Let me show them the. the the pumpkin and then head over to the almond tree. The pear look good in man. This. I go. See if we can plant the mango tree them today. Yeah. Come here guys, let me show you the pumpkin. I need to show you the pumpkin. Baby, you see white like chalk. You can you know, use it. You can use it right on chalkboard. <laughs> you know white it. Yeah, I'm getting there. Oh man. So guys, one day, I think it was in a video that I, I was doing a video for you guys. And daddy called me and showed me a little tiny skinny pumpkin to be pollinated. Now look at that. I don't know what kind of mutation that is. When it just started to grow out, it was a squash. <laughs> but this look like a pumpkin now. It is a pumpkin. It is a pumpkin. And there are more on the vines. And I can't wait for this to get full so we can literally cut it with you guys to see what inside actually looks like. But it is doing incredibly well. It's doing awesome. Daddy, this is your pumpkin because if you never see it, it probably would drop off like the others. Guys, you see him? 
just look at him and the mango seed. You're not done. Hmm? Guys. <laughs> really? Oh, that's the one you pollinated, babe. Yeah. Oh, it look like it. We're old. Let's hope. Maybe come and go over like a tree. Yeah, let's hope. Look at the mango seed. Come, guys. Let's go. Guys, look at look at mangoes. We have to stop again. Look at mangoes. No man, this this mango tree is a blessing. Baby, put it right there in that container, and we pick it up on the way back. See more up there, baby. I think the others can probably stay a little bit longer, but that one ready bird go fix it business right nice guys this mango tree bear mm -hmm. yeah bear all the way to the ground look at that to the ground all the way to the ground guys i need to show you something across the the way right here let me show you something what is that right there? Somebody tell me what that is. <laughs> oh, we just have to watch the baby because he'll harvest this. <laughs> you really see my run come with it in a baby harvest. <laughs> oh, we're going to watch that one. That's awesome. Look at the almond tree. This gives the, the, the yard such a tropical vibe, guys. Look, look, be nice, right? Right, right. Oh, can't catch it. No, but you're, you're, you're tall, but why? I mean, I think so tall. Oh, you're gonna eat it off and then catch it? Right. No, no, the mango seeds stuck. All right, may I go for one stick? Look here, guys, so many almonds on it, and we eat them when they're ripe like that. It's a ladybug factory on this almond tree. I wish I could show you them. So many ladybugs, like thousands. On it, I want them to migrate to the other side of the yard. So, so um, Oops. hold on, cheese. <laughs> wow, the um almond tree bush up and nice. Well, let's go check if we have any guava. I'm definitely seeing pomegranate from here. But let's check out the guava. See how it's doing. Baby, the guavas on this guava tree look like the grumpy old troll. Don't. Look here. May I look if I find any, any ripe ones. But look at these. Them cute though. When I tell you say guava ripe. Come let me show you the ripe one. You see ripe guava? Let me show you the ripe one. Come. Yeah, I know. Look at this. You got to be kidding. Look at this. It biggie? Come on, my head. Like, put it against my head and see if it's not bigger than my head. No, no, your head is on different, <laughs> they're on different scale. You can't, you can't, <laughs> I'm kidding. Your head small and cute. You only look big. But this, you want to see? Go over. Mm hmm I want to take it, make some food punch. No, you won't eat it, boy. Food punch. Food punch, your caca. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what happens when you plant. You just plant. You nice know, thing. once in a blue moon, we used to say we're not plant no fruit tree because it take too long to produce. Don't, baby? Mm -hmm. But no, it's kind of long still, but time fly. No, it's Come taste this. Nice. No, my hands dirty. Your hands dirty? It's in your work. Alright, let me put it in your mouth then. No, I don't want to taste it, so. Why? You want to go cut it. Bite it's this open. something, baby. I said no. Let me bite it for you. Yeah, you bite it for me. Hold on this. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So you're not sure them say I bite it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Bite mm -mm. it. Suck it up. Mr. said not bite the same thing. Mr. said not bite it. You still have bite it. You insist on putting it in our oh, yes, mouth. Please. Mali, can you want a piece? Of course, no, you can't. Because I'm right, but you. No? No, it's from a little guava. 
I need to wrap it up warm. <laughs> Mari, come. <clears throat> mm. You know, I'm going here. What happened to it? It's a little bit of speed. <coughs> Excuse me. It's all right, it's too. It's all right, it's too. Yeah. You could put that seed and the skin thick. You want to taste the guava, baby? Mickey? You want a piece of the guava? Look here. You want to taste it? You don't like it. Baby, this is so good. Guys, nothing beat fresh fruits off the tree. Didn't even wash this. Hopefully, we're all right. <laughs> and it's a beer, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to feed you. So good. I'm going to bite my finger to you, Bridget. Mmm. What do you want more? Pass it round. Mm -hmm. Pass it round. It's sweet, man. Sweet. Mm, hey, boy, man, you pop off your braces, you know? Sorry. You see, you jam your teeth in your head? Sorry. Look, just look at him. <laughs> Oh, Baby, I look at this spot. This guy's bird love guava too, you know? And it's nice, you know? It's so nice. Look up at the skies. Today is so beautiful. It's not focusing on the guava. It is focusing on the sky. There you go. I see you bite it out. Oh! You shouldn't bite it. <laughs> Suck it off. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> you tell I bite this thing. Yeah, I tell I bite this thing. Malik, I'm going to bite and look for worm, you know. <laughs> Hold on, give me a piece more. Mm. No protein from that. Not from that source. Mm -mm. We have so many more coming, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet like sugar. Guys, the bugs from half of the pomegranate. Find the guava. Look at that. Slapness. I hope they don't prefer the guava. So we have one right, right here soon ripe. That one soon ripe. It has on so many. Mm -mm -mm. This pomegranate right here is so ripe. Let me grab it before the, the bugs come back. Yeah. So guys, this is the fruit of the almond. Come closer. This is the fruit. And we just eat the fruit like this. Because he just picked it and catch it. I don't think anything on it that would do me touch too much arm. And it is sweet. And then when we dry it, we cut the the thing, the nut, and eat it. But the fruit can be enjoyed just like this. Baby, we need to pick up all them and cut them. They're snacks. Why paste to be tall? Mm -mm. I have to wait on them to fall. Be nice though. You don't lunch money, thin if you find a ham and you find lunch. You stop and pull your belly, don't it? <laughs> you eat this and you break them and eat the nut too. <laughs> but we used to see it as funny. Mm -hmm. Looking back, boy, it's rough. Why put your finger near them, my boy? <laughs> so you eat it and then you put it to dry? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's why you have to succeed in life, you know. You just don't suck the mango. Successful. Mangoes. You're successful. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> yeah, still, Steve's still over there picking almond. Oh, this one, right. This is where we're going to leave you this morning, go, guys. I love your company. 
we love your company but we have a whole heap of stuff to do today and then work in the afternoon so guys we have to run we thank you for your company as always appreciate you guys so much thank you for the comments the lovely comments the the tips we appreciate it so so much for those of you who went over to steve and marie to support us there thank you guys thank you for sharing our new channel we appreciate you thank you for the super is super what a super thanks thank you guys for those who have been sharing your gardens for me to share on inspiration wednesday that will be tomorrow thank you appreciate it appreciate all that you do guys thank you if you're watching and you've not yet subscribed please go ahead and press that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you will be notified whenever we post another video <laughs> please remember to like and leave your comments share with your friends because if you enjoy our videos who knows? They might, they might enjoy them too. They might enjoy them too. Yes. Now we enjoy our almond. Bye, guys. Bye. See you okay. on Inspiration, Inspiration Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> send the pics, send the videos. Yeah. Yeah. Because your pics and your videos inspire us as well. It does. Seriously. Yeah. Like the young lady I see over in Ola, but they With our roof. Farming on her roof. Yeah. And Charlene in the UK on our balcony. And everybody else. Guys, you're all inspiration to us. Miss Juliet in and her Miss drum. Juliet, yes, yes, yes. Greg's on his block. <laughs> yes, we appreciate all of you guys. Yeah. Miss Juliet reaping a lot of okra from the just. A little patch you'll see it tomorrow guys yeah. i'll show you tomorrow all right so take care guys bye have a productive day have a blessed week yeah work will be at home <laughs>